gosh, it has been a long time since I've done a Let's Talk. I would like to apologize for that. First of all, I had some exams to do. That's why I paused since December. I needed to study. And then after exams, it took a, a longer than expected time to recuperate. But, you know, we're back. And today I just felt so energetic and I want to do a let's talk so let's go we're going to be doing a let's talk this Tuesday I hope you guys have been doing well happy new year happy Chinese new year because as you should know by now I'm in China and uh, just as um, the tiger symbol means um, I think this year we should all be ready to go for our dreams or goals um, take it by force you know and just give our best and I've been saying this since January 1st, that guys, it's going to be a good year. And I believe it with all my heart, and I'm going to work towards it to make it a good year for myself, right? And anything that's going to hinder that, we're just going to shun it and then keep the happiness, right? Yeah. So speaking about New Year, our very first Let's Talk for this year, um, I think it's best that we talk about priorities, right and the reason why i was actually going to speak about another topic which was communication so that will be coming at a later date okay guys and from time to time you'll be seeing some of my friends in my let's talk as we discuss um certain social issues as well so for next week's let's talk we're going to be speaking to one of my friends he's the owner of the channel bwt black with tonight's africa rising and i'm pretty sure you'll enjoy that let's talk because we'll be speaking about emotional maturity and one more thing if it is that you want to get in contact with me and we and you'd like to discuss a certain topic with me best believe you can and i'll leave my email below you can definitely contact me and we will get we'll get that video going okay so don't be afraid don't be camera shy um be willing to speak about these things give your experience on topics i've already spoken about or topics that you think i need to speak about so you can definitely comment below and if it is that you want to be in a video you can definitely definitely guys shoot me an email okay so priorities and i know we hear this from time to time um priorities 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 what are priorities right and one more thing guys for my daily encouragement um a nine-year-old commented on on one of my videos and she was like um miss shanique or ma'am she commented twice um but i remember her saying miss shanique um i love you you're so special um i'm a nine-year-old i'm a nine-year-old that loves jesus and trust me, that really warmed my heart. And it kind of gave me some motivation, not kind of, it gave me <laughs> motivation to continue with this channel, right guys? And uh, I really hope that she's watching the Let's Talk videos as well. Because trust me, getting into that teenage phase of life, oh, getting your priorities straight is of utmost importance. Because... If you don't set them straight from early on, peer pressure, which will be another topic, um, all the distractions of life can really turn you away from where you need to be. And it will turn you away from your goals in life because your priorities are not set straight, right? So um, I think it is necessary to speak on this topic of priorities. And we're already five minutes in, guys. I do apologize. This is part one and part two, so yeah, I won't speak too long on each of these topics. So yes, I'll do part one today, and uh, um, I'll let my friend, I'll, I'll give you guys my friend's, uh, my friend's videos next week, and then part two will come the following week, okay? So what are your priorities? They are those things that you deem the most important in life, and that could be family that could be work, that could be education, that could be um, a relationship of any sort. It could be a friendship or a spousal to spousal relationship, right? And uh, we 
all have priorities in life so maybe well messed up um but it doesn't mean that all hope is lost you can definitely get back on track with your priorities and once you get to that point where you're back on track with your priorities guys things will go clear okay so enough talking um and one more thing that actually pushed for me to do this uh, this let's talk is i went i saw this clip of a movie just now actually and the lady was speak was arguing with a teacher was arguing with her her student and the student just didn't care about anything that the teacher was trying to say and the teacher got so flustered and i understand the teacher honestly it's not easy to see someone waste their life like that right and this is what the teacher said to the child she was like it's easy to be careless it takes a lot of guts and character to care in other words to care to be good to actually do something of utmost importance with your life right it takes a lot of gut and character because it's very easy to give up it's very easy to say um i don't care or anything of the sort right it's very easy for that the crowd says that the majority of people say that in life but for someone to actually stand up and give a difference yeah that takes a lot of guts and character and i needed to say that because it tied so well to what i was going to speak about tonight so i wrote it down as quickly as possible and it will align perfectly with um these 12 points but of course i'm not going to do all 12 in one video because that's too much right so now it's eight minutes i hope you guys actually stayed thus far with me um let's get into <laughs> um number one it says figure out what's more important to you or what's most important to you guys i think i think um i've stressed this a lot in a lot of my let's talk where you have to look within yourself to see what you cherish the most right and it comes from introspection it comes from finding out the real you just go in my let's talk um playlist guys you'll see that i've spoken about these things i really don't need to stress on it a lot um but yeah find out what's most important to you is it your family what are you going to do to ensure that your family is okay um is it is it your education what is it what is it that you're going to do to ensure that you keep in good standing with your education is it your job what are you going to do to keep in good standing with your job what's most important to you what is it that when you think of it it will give you the most meaning in life like make you feel so fulfilled and uh, that is the thing that you are basically putting at the top of your priority and yes honestly um I know that some people are messed up where they think that money is the most important thing in life but guys while money is important let's not let's not actually eradicate that point it is important um it's not the most important thing and i think by now you probably know what my most important thing is and that is jesus christ my lord okay and my life is surrounded by him He's the center of my life, right? And everything I do is in order to glorify him in anything I do. And uh, I'm not ashamed to say that. So that is the top of my list, right? Now, when you find out what is most important to you guys, you're going to number two. So I, as I said, I'm not going to speak too long on any one of these things. Find out what's most important to you. That's number one. And that calls for you to do some introspection and basically soul searching if you want to say that right create an action plan now if you're like me i don't necessarily like to write down too many things i like to keep things in my heart because i'm very big on not letting bad energy into my life right so um i create mental lists but if you're not like me and you need to have um, 
at least to guide you to make sure that okay i wake up at this point i do this i do this i do that like if you need that then get your book get your paper get your book get your pen and write down your list make an action plan for your life what is it what it whatever it is that you want in life and if it is that you want to be let's say an engineer okay i know i'll need to focus in math and physics definitely right and if it is that you're a teenager watching this think about what you want for your future and i know oh, we'll get to that later um but yes um your priorities your priorities can change so your action plan is it should be a flexible one right it shouldn't be that you are stuck on one goal and then you leave no room for improvement, no room for um, deletion. There is no room for changes, right? You should always leave room for changes because nothing is ever constant apart from God, right? He is the only one that is constant. But yes, um, nothing is ever constant. You change, you grow, you evolve, and you learn as you grow, right? So what you might think is your goal right now it may very well still be your goal but there there may be a better method to achieve that goal and you should make way for that so create an action plan for your life and don't be afraid to say okay this is what i want for my life and i'm going to work towards it um many people are afraid to do that because maybe their friends are not in the same um mind frame as them at that moment so it looks as if they are doing too much or they are you know what's the word i don't know but yes um let's just keep it that they're doing too much um don't be afraid of that don't be afraid to stand out and be different honestly do not be afraid you actually should be very humbled and grateful if someone sees that you are not like the crowd Okay, um, the next one is um, designate specific slots for a task. Again, if you're one of those people that need to write these things down, um, get your book, get your pen, write down your timetable, know what to do, know what to do. If you're like me, you do it in your head, mental schedule. Um, yeah, so when I am literally at my peak of of being efficient is when i wake ridiculously early and i mean like a good three o'clock in the morning or at four o'clock in the morning i have my worship and i'm ready to go right and i've seen myself um be like that and it feels so good to be that efficient honestly guys um but yes, designate slots. I know that, okay, if I wake at this time, I have one hour for worship. I do another hour for maybe exercise or something of the sort. Then, um, and most of this was when I was living alone, actually. I need to get back into that mood, so I'm not even going to lie. I've fallen off. But yeah, um, the next one is after, after exercise, I'll come back home, probably eat breakfast, and then I'll get to doing some studies um or reading a book that will enlighten me and then um i get most of my things done mostly by 12 o'clock and then i can rest a little or i go back and sleep because sometimes i would probably sleep a little later than expected and then yeah so it's not it's not bad to take naps in the day right so just designate your time slots know that okay this is my goal for today i need to make sure that i allot these these amount of hours to it so that once i complete it yes i'm good for um the day right so be able to manage your time that is key to keeping your priorities straight right so the next one is 
determine how you want to live your life guys i don't know why i didn't put this for number one but yes um determine how you want to live your life if you see yourself if you see yourself um living on the beach side and you know that you are not necessarily from the background where you can just say mommy daddy and they give you what you want you need to make sure you exercise exercise some level of discipline to get that goal it's the same thing as making your goals right um set set your set your goals by making sure that you know what you want out of life right and there's this jamaican saying that says if you want good your nose have to run right and it simply means you have to work hard if you want something good out of life so here it's saying determine how you want to live your life if you see yourself in a mansion you have to work to get to that point and sometimes it may take longer than usual but if you be consistent with that priority that you have placed by knowing what you want out of life then you will get it right so it's just how you see yourself in 10 15 years you live your life accordingly simple you live your life accordingly the next one is talk to a mentor guys always seek advice from people you don't have to take every single advice but take advice from people i've said this countless times in other videos take advice from people don't think that you are too good to not listen to someone who has already had experience in this field or someone who seems to have um, things on a more stable setting than you if you see someone that's doing something that you want to do you should seek to take advice from them because if you don't like guys you have to talk to people to get to where you want and it's a part of networking anyway um no man can achieve their goals on their own right you always need help and while yes you can be independent and stuff it makes no sense being too independent you have to be independent yes but get to the point where you can you can decide okay at this point in time i need to listen to this person because they seem like they know what they're doing and if i listen to them maybe i can get a tip or two as to how to better myself right and uh, that is how you can set your priorities straight because in speaking to this person you can probably like tell them about your your list of priorities or just in speaking to them maybe they'll see that okay maybe you need to fix your your priorities a little here or a little there and being humble and listening to that can definitely help to set you straight as an individual and in listening and talking to a mentor you can definitely improve yourself over time and it calls for some level of maturity right and i spoke about that in and if you are struggling with being mature wanting to say okay i'm mature or not mm, yeah um we can speak up you can watch my video um i'll link it above and the next one is eliminate distractions guys this bro listen this one is key to setting your priorities straight my mommy oh listen my mother <laughs> my mother she taught me a lot in life right she taught me a lot in life and she like i'm someone that i cherish friendships right but when I was younger, I, I couldn't see um, the things that my mother saw um, when it came to my friendships, right? And then now when you're growing older, you're like, oh, that's what she was talking about. Oh, this was, oh, da, 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 oh, da, 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 right? And we have another Jamaican saying, it's like, and every skin teeth I laugh. 
meaning that not everybody that laughs with you or not everyone that is supposedly kind to you means you will it means they can smile with you and still hate you and oh how i've seen this in action not only in my life but i've seen it for other people and i'm like wow there are really humans like this in the world but yes it's true my mother must have a reason for saying that or some jamaican who made that proverb must have had a reason a proper reason for saying that right and uh, i know in other countries across the world um you have your proverb or your saying that is equal in meaning to this one right and uh, it's it's really true because honestly guys I was what was I watching I think it's today I was watching meet the Mitchells <laughs> and um, Wayne Marshall was talking about um, oh yes 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 it was today I was watching meet, meet the Mitchells right and uh, he was talking about how he went to prison and uh, it's a long story go watch them if you want to watch them right um, and uh, he was only in the company of these people guys he was only in the company of these people and he went to prison when he did nothing wrong like your friends can tell you can tell the world who you are so be careful of the friends that you choose because if you choose to say okay let me just be nice to them let me just be their friend but then their character or their behaviors that they're exhibiting is not in alignment to what you actually believe as your morals then you're basically um discrediting yourself and you're messing your life up because honestly it's easier to roll down the mountain than to climb up the mountain as we all know um so yeah guys <laughs> setting your priorities straight means choose wisely um eliminate distractions as it pertains to the people that you have in your life not only in regards to human to human relationship guys if you see that um you're watching too much tv and you're not getting your tasks done get rid of the tv if you're seeing that you're using the phone too much and you're not you're not getting your tasks done decrease the amount of phone time decrease the amount of screen time across all screens video games tv phone computer anything of the sort decrease it so that you can get your goals in order right and doing that guys you'll see how much you get done throughout the day and then when your tasks are done and you set you you finish your goals for the day you can waste as much time after but of course be temperate with it as well not to spend too much time idling and then when it comes to sleep time you don't you sleep late you wake late and then tomorrow you're back to square one let's not do that right so yeah um that's where we're ending today i will not keep you long um i have part two coming for you but next week um you will see a video with me and my friend we're discussing emotional maturity his name is ben Cart well that's what we call him i still cannot pronounce his name i'm sorry um to all the africans that are probably watching this video i cannot pronounce their names um properly yeah um but he is the he is the um he is the owner of black with tonight's africa rising channel and i'll link his uh, i'll link his channel below um, so you can even go and check him out before you see the video next week. And then I'll do part two another time, okay? So, guys, um, let's, for 2022, guys, let's set our priorities straight so that we can get the most out of life and not live in regret. Yeah, let's not live in regret and be sad or depressed, right? Let's set our priorities straight so that we can be the very the very best version of ourselves so i'll see you next week 
and then i will see you the week after for part two bye guys Thank you.